Hey guys, how's on the mechanic chopping again? I'm working on a 2011 Volkswagen Tiguan. I just want to share something with you. Maybe this can help you out because uh, um, I was having a hard, hard trouble to figure out what the problem was in this car because I had a uh, P0300 code in uh, all cylinder misfire in um, I was checking the uh, coils, spark plugs, everything was fine. Uh, I removed the fuel injectors and all the injectors was fine. The problem was a um, leaking rear main seal. Okay, I'm just going to show you now what I did. Hey, muchachos, Jairo, el mecánico Chapin otra vez aquí. Este, estoy trabajando una 2011 Volkswagen Tiguan. Tengo el motor 2.0 turbo. El problema de este carro es que tenía falla en todos los cilindros, desde el 1 hasta el 4. Eh, revisé inyectores, bobinas, bujías, todo estaba bien. Al final encontré el problema que es el, el, el empaque de, del motor, ¿cómo le llamarán en español? El del cigüeñal, el de atrás, el crankshaft seal o rear main seal. Creo que le llamarán como el, o el retenedor del motor, creo que le llaman en español de algunos lados. El retenedor del motor está liqueando y en este carro da problema de falla en el, en el motor si ese empaque está liqueando, no como en los otros carros que no da esa falla. En este carro, según yo veo que la, la presión del motor se, se tiene que mantener adentro porque si, si hay una fuga en el, en el cobertor de las válvulas o en el cobertor de la banda del tiempo, o en el retenedor del motor, eso es lo, lo marca el carro como que tuviera un liqueo en las líneas del vacío. Y esa era la falla que estaba teniendo y no, no la encontraba, ¿ok? Vamos a ver cómo encontré el problema. Ok, like I said, guys, this is a 2011 Volkswagen T1. I have the uh, 2.0 engine with turbo. Um, I was having problem with all cylinder misfire. And like I say, I didn't know in this engine, when you have a leaking rear main seal, the uh, the engine will give you problems like a vacuum leak or something like that. So the way how I figured out this was because I apply um, I apply a smoke with the with the smoke machine here and the uh, oil dipstick too. I apply smoke here, and there was no smoke coming out from any vacuum hoses or anything. Okay, de la manera que encontré esto fue que apliqué, la apliqué humo aquí en la, en la línea del, en el tubo de la, de la varilla del aceite con la máquina de humo, le apliqué humo ahí y no salía humo en ninguna de las mangueras del vacuum, en ningún lado, ni intake, ni nada de esto. Entonces después me di cuenta que el humo estaba saliendo por acá. Okay, guys, so, and then I saw the uh, smoke coming out here between the transmission and the engine that's how I figured out the uh, rear main seal was leaking and now I'm removing the transmission in this car entonces así fue como encontré que estaba saliendo humo ahí en esa parte en medio del motor de la transmisión cuando sale humo ahí es definitivamente que el, que el retenedor del motor está liqueando entonces ahora estoy quitando la, la transmisión para cambiar ese empaque Okay, to remove this transmission, I removed the uh, battery tray here. And I start removing all the upper bolts. One, two, three. I removed the starter. I don't think it's necessary to remove the starter, but I'm going to remove it to get more access to it. No creo que es necesario remover el starter, pero yo lo quité para tener más acceso ahí. Okay, I have removed the uh, plug connector, the Transmission cooler lines going down there. These are 18 millimeter bolts. That's what I'm doing now. I'm holding the engine. So I'm, I'm going to lift it up the car now and start removing from the bottom, okay? I'm just gonna share this with you guys. I, I hope this can help somebody because this was driving me crazy because I couldn't figure out why the car was giving misfire all cylinders good compression good coils good spark plugs no vacuum leaks good uh, fuel injectors 
was driving me crazy. So um, that's how I figured out on these cars, the 2.0 turbo, if the rear main seal is leaking, it's, it, it, it will give you a problem like a vacuum leak. That's why the, the car was hesitating, misfire all cylinders, okay? Let's continue and I will share with you when I remove this ending uh, and the transmission, I'm sorry. And I, I'm going to show you where the leak was, okay? Okay, guys, I will show you now where the uh, vacuum leak was. As you can see, the rear main seal is completely broke. That's why the engine was giving a vacuum leak code in misfire. And this engine is very common problem. When the rear main seal leaks, the car is acting like a, a vacuum leak. Very, very hard, uh, very, very big vacuum leak. I got the new seal here, as you can see. The, um, the metal and the uh, rubber piece come together. And uh, I'm going to install the new gasket to fix this problem. Um, this is the uh, rear main seal, part number 710759, national. This is the, uh, the one I'm using. And I'm also doing the transmission torque conveyor seal. This is the uh, part number. Because you get the tra transmission out, do the uh, torque converter seal, 